YouTube, what up man, back at it with another video. And as you can tell by the thumbnail and the title, today we got a Panda Buy haul. I know y'all have waited a very long time and it's taken a minute for me to put out a video, but that's not my fault, bro. That's Haggle Buy. I tried Haggle Buy and they took like 55 days to ship, although it did ship. And at the time you'll be seeing this video, that video will probably already be posted. Yeah, man, sorry for the wait. Y'all know me, not too much yip yap. Not too much jibber jabber. Let's just get straight into the unboxing. So first things first, man, here is the hall of stats. I did buy this during the uh, Panda Buy event, the big old sale. So I did get it extremely discounted shipping, but here's how many kilograms and how much it was cost it ship. Yeah, man, not too much else to say. Let's just go ahead and get the thing open. All right, so after a lot of hard work, I finally did get this thing open. And as you all can see, this thing is loaded with items. So uh, yeah, not too much to say. Let's just go ahead and get to the first item, y'all. Woohoo! Sneak peek essentials FOG. Let's go ahead and get this out, man. First things first, coming at y'all with a banger essentials fear of God hoodie. Coming in this cool, like green colorway. I did get it in a medium. Here is the tag. And first things I'm feeling, y'all, this thing is like thick, soft, really good for, this, for the winter. I'm about to say summer. Oh, bro, I live in Florida. It's not good for the summer. <laughs> it's like 90 degrees out summer now. I probably won't be wearing this for a while. But hey, man, it does look pretty good, pretty tough. So let's go ahead and try this on, see how it fits. So as y'all can see, man, this is how it looks on body. You know what I'm saying? Essentials branding. Not too long, but this thing is pretty, like, thick. Like, wide, too. But, you know, it doesn't fit too oversized. I've had some essential studies in the past that have just been, like, super big. So I did size down for this one. Yeah, I'd say this is about as perfect as a fit on a hoodie as you can get, so definitely a call. Next item, next item, next item. Y'all couldn't already tell, I'm very excited. So uh, let's just keep flying through this, y'all. Rip this thing open, rip this whole thing open. Ooh, this is one of the items I was most excited about. A little sneak peek before I get it fully open. These are the vertebrae, vertebrae, sorry, sweats, joggers. Boom, y'all. Logo on the back, logo on the front. And uh, yeah, not any, oh, there is a little tag on the inside, vertebrae. Hey, you'll pause the video and read that. Because I honestly don't really care what it says. Got this little tag here. And uh, I'm just praying to God that it fits. So let's find out. As y'all boys can see, man, I'm super excited that these actually fit. I was really, you know, trying to come to a consensus on what size I wanted to get. These literally fit me perfectly, which is rare for sweatpants, especially sweatpants that don't have any drawstrings because I'm 6'3 and only about 160 pounds. So, you know what I'm saying? It's pretty rare to find something that fits me in the waist that also fits me in the length. And so pretty, pretty excited about that. Here, I'm just throwing a pair of shoes real quick. Check out how they look with shoes. You know what I'm saying? Little vertebrae with the balloons. Ooh! As y'all can tell, I'm super excited, bro. So, definitely 10 out of 10. The little, little vertebrae branding here feels super, super cool. But yeah, bro, not much to be said. This is definitely a 10 out of 10. Maybe my favorite pickup in the whole haul already, just because it fits, man. Let's go. So if y'all couldn't tell, I no joke was like about to do a backflip in my room. I was so freaking hyped that those vertebrae pants fit. So uh, enough yak about that. Let's go ahead and get to the next item. Got no idea what this is. So y'all are going to be uh, finding out with me. And experience this at the same time. Pull this out. Oh, my Jason. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, this low key fit. Like, this low key hat. Yo, this is nice. 
my Jason Tatum graphic tee. Y'all didn't already know I'm Jason Tatum's biggest fan, bro. Like, just look how cute he is. All right, all right, all right. Nah, but this actually, I did not expect this to be thick. This is like really, really nice quality. I'll put the seller's link in the description. Low bullet. I don't know, bro. It's not supposed to be something like name brand. I just thought it was a fire graphic tee, so let's go ahead and see if it fits. As y'all can see, this does look like it fits pretty oversized. But you know, it does feel like 100% kind, so it'll definitely shrink in the wash. But y'all, just this quality is insane. Definitely a W pickup. Jason Tatum, Celtics, going all the way to see your chest, chest, chest. Next item, next item, next item, yeah. Let's go ahead and get into this thing right here. Rip that thing open. Uh, uh. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. This is another item I was super excited about. Ooh. Ooh. Alright y'all, so I'm gonna give you a little story time. I did cheap out and not get Pika. I got a different different little seller. This is like 20 bucks instead of 40. So uh let's see if the quality's the same. Right now it's feeling pretty good. First impression is not too bad. Let's go ahead and look at this tag real quick. All right, all right, all right. Spider medium, all right, all right. Yo, y'all, this puff print looking pretty nice. Yo, are we done with Pico, bro? Are we done with the 90s? Yo, Chad, we might be done with the 90s, bro. It's looking pretty good. But uh, not much more to be said. Let's just go ahead and try this thing on, man. So as y'all can see, man, this is the spider hoodie and it does fit me just about perfect, I say. Again, I'm 6'3", skinny, and I got a medium. Yeah, bro, not much to be said. Looking pretty good. I will say that it maybe it is a little bit lighter weight than Pika's, but it's not like anybody's gonna notice that. Nobody's gonna call you out for sure. But uh, yes, sir, y'all, this is feeling pretty nice. And so, uh, not much more to be said. This is a spider hoodie. Uh, uh, uh. Yeah, man. Ooh. Next item. Let's go, man. I'm reaching for this thing right here. Just grabbing off the top. Let's see what we get. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. This is the Essentials Pants to match the hoodie I opened earlier. I believe it was the first thing I opened. So first things first, these things are looking nice. The little branding right there. The little, the little logo around the middle. Got the little tag. Essentials, fear of God. Size small, made in Vietnam. Yes sir, man, I did get a small because everybody was saying that they like that like the length didn't change no matter if you size up or not. Not for small waist. So I got a small and let's see if that was a W or a L decision by going ahead and uh, trying these on. So here is how they fit y'all. And I will say, again, I'm 6'3", so they do fit lengthwise, but these are a little bit tight. So, you know, maybe next time I cop, I'll have to get a size up, but uh, not like uncomfortably tight just you know what i'm saying they're a little bit my legs are suffocating a little bit bro kind of feeling like an atlanta guy you know you know now nah, but these are feeling super soft by the way it'd be really nice in the winter you know not much to be said bro these are just some common sweatpants you know i can just wear some slides like these and you know me. <laughs> next item yeah 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 going for this. Let's go ahead and wrap this thing open, man. Ooh. You already know, bruh. The blue Yeezy Spies. They came with the shoe tree, so these came in perfect condition. And I did get the box. They're just, it's just folded up right now, so. Here, let me look for it. Hold on. Just it at the bottom. Yeah, so here is the Yeezy Slide box. You know what I'm saying? I'm going to unfold that later but yeah here's a shoe uh, not much to be said it's just very used slides but you know it's got the little bubble around the thingy it's got the little bubble around the thingy over there and uh i've already bought from the seller are super comfortable 
and uh, not much to be said. It is just a blue Yeezy sock. And spoiler alert, I got these in brown too. So, uh, yep. Yeah. Let me go ahead and get the other one out. Get on my way. I have my face. Take that out. Yeah, man, let's just go ahead and get these on foot. So here they are on foot, man. You know, nothing crazy, bro. Just the blue Yeezy size. For some reason, the material is like, I don't know how to explain it. It's like slippery. I bet that's gonna wear off. It's not like it's bad, like it's uncomfortable, but you know what I'm saying? Super, super good. Pick up for the summer, bro. Just some blue Yeezy slides. Really comfortable. I don't really see a lot of people rocking a blue one, so you know me, I always gotta be different. So I'm him. I'm him. But yeah, nothing crazy, y'all. Just some blue Yeezy slides. Go ahead and get into the next item. You feel me? Wow, y'all. These are actually super fire. And you know, this is just gives off such summer vibes with the peach here. It's a lot of different materials that I've ever seen on Jordan 4 too. Like it's got this totally different than normal material on the toe box behind the netting too. So you see you got the Union LA branding, different wings too. Nike Air on the back, which is cool and not just your average jump man. And one of the things about this shoe that I had never really noticed until like two days before I got them, let's take the tongue out, is that this tongue is like the design, if you could tell, is like a Jordan tongue, normal Jordan 4 tongue that folded over and you could see the inside. So it's like a folded tongue, which is kind of cool. You know, totally different from your average Jordan 4. No other Jordan 4 does this. And yeah, maybe it'll be a little bit less high top, a little bit looks a little bit less bulky on foot. As you can see, it comes with this hang tag that's in perfect perfect condition i don't really know how it's supposed to look but it looks good but yeah man not much more to be said these are one-to-one -one reps obviously from pick pop they get everything correct toe box this test probably isn't as valid because the material is completely different but just the, the quality that i'm feeling of the shoe like the materials all feel really nice it is nice and heavy it doesn't feel like i can just bend it in half like a straight rubber here's the bottom Again, just super summer type colors, y'all. Really, really cool. Let's go ahead and get the next pair. Oh, and as y'all can see, it came with the extra pair of laces. Come on, y'all. Oh my what God. What other rep seller oh, gives you all the hell no, man. What the, the fuck, tag, man? The laces and the sick wrapping paper. Bro, go check Pip Pop out, y'all. They don't play when it comes to quality. Go ahead and get the second pair out. Here it is, man. Nothing different than the first one but just super, super sweet summer beach vibes. And yeah, I'll definitely be putting on a really cool fit with these. And uh, enough of the nonsense. Let's get straight into the unboxing. So here is the shoe, man. See, it's got this all the way around new buck material. It's all black with these hits of yellow. And these may look like they'll be hard to wear at first, but come on, y'all. Y'all know me. I'm going to put a tough fit with this. You just got to you just gotta wear them right. You got to wear them right. These are very tough. I'm going to get into every legit check for you. First things first, let me take out the uh, little thing right there. And let's just get a slow-mo of this. What's the point in even trying? I hit a goofy especially. They always dying to mention me. So I mean, see for yourself, y'all look pretty perfect to me, but you know, y'all may know it better than me. But here is the back tab. Comes straight up immediately. Doesn't feel weak or anything. Feels nice, thick quality. That's another thing I noticed is that they always get the cushioning really, really nice on these. Hung perfect. Got the Air Jordan. The stitching looks really, really nice. Logo. Again, Jumpman is literally perfect, y'all. Stitching. It'll focus. Looks super, super good. Here's the toe box check. Comes straight back up, no issues. No matter how hard I push it, 
them straight back up. So yeah, man, look at the netting, perfectly with the shoe. So here is the shoe, y'all. As you can see, my right foot, I laced up how I like to do it. Y'all know me, I like to do it a little bit looser on the lace. The left foot is how the factory lace looks. If you know, y'all are interested in doing it that way. But yeah, man, sizing is great. Cushioning, comfort, 10 out of 10. Perfect quality. Yeah, I mean, these shoes just give a nice little summer vibe. Definitely got to wear them right. But with the fit I got on right now, I'll switch it to my mirror. So you could wear it with a little matching fit, but I accidentally kind of put on a nice little fit right here. Just little pops of yellow at the bottom. And yeah, man, really, really nice shoe for the summer. So, peace. Next item. Yeah, boy. Oh, here's the other pair. I'll go ahead and just knock out both of the Yeezy flies right off the bat. Feel me? Got the brown pair. You know what I'm saying? Same seller, so it's going to look the exact same, just brown. And I'm actually wearing the blue ones right now as we speak. And they're really, really comfortable. I know, shocking, right? Yeezy slides are comfortable? What? These slides aren't comfortable. Yes, they are, boy. Got these in the brown. And nothing too crazy, nothing too crazy. Let's go ahead and uh, get these on foot. And uh, shockingly, y'all, these feel and fit the exact same. Almost like I got the same size, same batch, and the same color. Oh, yeah, I did. Uh, yeah, not too much to be said, bro. Yeah, man. Some brown easy slides, perfect for the summer. You go to the beach in these. If you could tell, I added to the collection. Hold up, hold up, hold up, hold up. Do I have an addiction, y'all? Uh, low key, I think I need more easy slides, though. Low key. I have to get some more easy slides in the next haul, y'all. I don't have enough. Next item. Let's go, man. As y'all boys can see, man, this is how it looks on body. Nike Tech, nothing too crazy. Fits good, feels good. Even got the little Nike tag. Yes, sir, man. Next item, let's go. What is this? I don't know. Let's find out with y'all, bro. Hmm. Got the little graphic tee. A little graphic tee ski. It's from the same brand I got the, the Tatum tee from. So I can see, man. Jordan Garden Kobe. Got this really nice, like, acid wash. Bro, I'm putting y'all on, bro. Just wait till they blow up, bro. What is it? Blow bullet, bro. Tough. They got the tough graphic tees. So here is how it looks on body, man. For some reason, it's a little bit smaller than the Tatum shirt. And it's like a perfect fit, y'all. So. Not much to be said. Fire, fire, graphic tee for the summer and make sure to go check them out. Next item. Let me clean this up a little bit for the show. Hold on. All right, this is the final item that's in like a bag like this. We got, we got some other stuff too, but hold on. Final item that's in like a little paper baggie. Ooh, yeah. These are the green Eric Emanuel shorts. You know what I'm saying? Go with the Tatum shirt. Just simple. Eric Emanuel. Eric Emanuel, size small. There's the jawstrings. And uh, yeah, man, let's go ahead and get these on body, see if they fit. And here is how they look on body, as y'all can see, man. They fit perfect. Eric Emanuel shorts, bro. They're not looking like see-through at all. And you know, obviously they're gonna be a little see-through. I hate when people are like, oh, they're see-through, they're not real. Bro, it's mesh shorts. Obviously gonna be a little see-through, but it's not like, you know what I'm saying? It's not like you're gonna see me from 30 yards away and be like, oh, shoot. I just saw his, he just exposed himself. No, 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 no. <laughs> so as y'all can see, man, very, very nice. These are like soft, got nice big pockets. This is really good quality for the price, actually. Pretty sure these are like cheap. They're like five bucks. So 
10 out of 10. All right, all right, all right. As y'all boys can see, we're getting close to the end of the haul. Got one more little thing right here. Let's go ahead and open it up. Dang. All right, there you go. Ooh, as y'all can see, go yard. Rue Studios, Paris. Bro, this is luxury, y'all. Ooh. Go yard. Paris. Let's open it up, man. There you go. And then inside this beautiful little thing. Here's the wallet, man. Go yard wallet. Not much to be said, bro. Got this nice little yellow hit on the inside. And I'll show y'all what it looks like with a card in it. Oh, shoot. Look, it came in a little Goyard Paris little thing, too. Yeah, not much to be said. It is a really nice, like, leather. Like, it feels actually really, really nice quality. I know people that be buying the real versions of these, they're like, oh, the quality's so good. Bro, I just got the 10 buck version on Panda Bar, bro. This feels the exact same. <laughs> like, let's see, Goyard Paris. This is a calm little, I just need a little wallet. And I didn't want to go like crazy, like flashy with the Louis Vuitton. So let me go ahead and put some cards in here, see what it looks like. And as y'all can see, it can fit multiple cards. Obviously, I'm not going to leak my ID to y'all, y'all. But you know what I'm saying? It's not going to like fall out. It's got multiple cards in there right now and it feels pretty good. So uh, definitely going to have to give this a cop. 10 out of 10. All right, last little section of the video is just going to be a little jewelry. First things first, we got a little rope chain from his company's seventh uncle it's got a really cool looking bag it's like rainbow like reflective but let's go ahead and open this thing up rip it a little bit whoops here it is again let's go ahead and open it up this thing comes in like 37 layers of packaging here is the necklace y'all wait for that to focus you know, nothing crazy, bro. Just a just a little rope necklace. Uh, let me see if this fits and, you know, how it looks. Here is how it looks on. Nothing too crazy. Just, you know what I'm saying? A rope chain. And, uh, yeah, it's blinging. But it's not too flashy. You know, you could put a little pendant on it. Yeah, man. 10 out of 10. Let's cop. And here is a second piece of jewelry. Same brand. Same chain. Same length, just uh, gold this time. So uh, let's go ahead and get this open. Yada yada. Get this thing open real quick. And here is how the chain looks. A little tangled up. Hold up. Still a little tangled. Hold on, y'all. Dang, bro. All right, so here, hold on. Let me just show you all this real quick. And now I'm taking it off camera. Here is the gold rope chain. You know what I'm saying? You gotta have some silver, you gotta have some gold, bro. You gotta have a little variety in your jewelry. Yeah, not too much to be said. Let's go ahead and see how this looks. Here we go, y'all. Here is how it looks on neck. On neck, is that a phrase? On neck? I don't know. But uh, not much to be said, bro. It's just a little, little chain. So yeah, yeah, cop. All right, last and final item of this haul that I know of. I don't see anything, but maybe I'll find something in the trash. Highly doubt it, but one more piece of jewelry, little bracelet. Ooh, little Chrome Hearts bracelet. Hold up, hold up. Little Chrome Hearts bead bracelet. This thing looking tough. Really, really nice, and let's go ahead and see how this looks on me. Yeah, y'all, pretty, pretty darn nice. You know what I'm saying? Just a little, little calm, little calm jewelry. Like, nothing, like, too extravagant, no crazy diamonds. Just a little, just a little bracelet, y'all. So, yeah. So, here is what the finished haul is looking like, man. You know, just some calm stuff. Got some hoodies. Got some, you know, I try to get some heavier stuff just because you know the shipping discount but you know i still get did get some good summer stuff shorts jewelry wallet more jewelry shirts but i also did get some fire hoodies and some fire shoes 
So yeah, man, highly, highly recommend. And at this point, I've done all of both, Panda Buy over Hackle Buy, y'all. As y'all saw from my last video, I'm extremely disappointed in the customer service of Hackle Buy. And if you haven't already tapped into that video, uh, it took like 52 days for the haul to get here. And in the haul to even have half my stuff in it. So absolutely ridiculous. So if y'all boys don't know, just tap in to Panda Buy, bro. They're gonna get you right. And yeah, man, 10 out of 10 W haul. Let me know what y'all think in the comments. I'll put my sign up link in the in the bio in the description and uh yeah man just let me know if y'all got any questions in the comments and peace